Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Chronicles Baseball. 16 box, pick your team number one from Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. Full case break. Travis Melber got the last spot mojo. He got the Indians straight up. And the little rooftops indicate that you won that in a team random that we just did. That's in a separate video. All right, now this break probably will take a good chunk of time, ladies and gentlemen. So settle in, get comfortable. Now this break will probably take us right to the end of the night, ladies and gentlemen, but as I said before, I'll put my promise on tape, on wax. If NT Collegiate Football fills by the end of this break, I will do it. I will, I will stay a little bit later and we'll do that. If we're only one spot away from doing that break, by the end of this break, then we'll call it a night and we'll, uh, we'll do it tomorrow. That'll be a nice way to start the day tomorrow too. All right. You can see on the Nick Cam right here, you'll see all the stacks of four. Four stacks of four makes 16. All right, let's see what this Chronicles has got for us. Uh-huh, uh-huh, a lot of iconic brands, I know. We're looking for three autographs and one memorabilia card per box on average. All right, good luck. Travis Melberg needs that luck. Travis like, I'm begging for some hits. On a slump, on a cold streak. All right. Well, let's see if we can turn that around. Riley, what's going on? I saw your order for the Orioles, Riley. That's going to happen tomorrow, that Chronicles 3 or Chronicles 2. I think, I want to say that almost everything ships in this. It says Veteran Commons doesn't ship, but the only Veteran Commons that are there are like Chronicle cards, you know what I mean? Like the actual Chronicles cards. That's not a lot, so I don't know. Shipping team may just end up saying, screw it, I'm, we're just gonna, it's easier to ship everything. So like these are the Chronicles cards right here, right? So like the non-rookie versions would be the veteran commons, but there's not too many of those. All right, so I'm going to breeze through these. I'm probably going to miss some numbered cards here and there, but our shipping team will catch it. That's pretty cool. Look at that, Josh James in that America's Pastime design on a really thick cardstock, 12 out of 99 for the Astros. Aaron Monzon with the Strohs. I like the Contenders optic designs that they have there. I like the big heads on the on these players here. We got Elvis Andrews, Relic, 1 out of 10 for the Rangers. So Aaron had the Astros and the Rangers. That will be Lucas Snow who got the Rangers in a team random. Let's move this list over a little bit. And Yusai Kikuchi. I love the Spectra design that they're using here. So that's to 49. And our autograph is Harold Castro for the Tigers. Absolute rookie autographs. Nice absolute design for this. They should do absolute baseball. That's for the Tigres. Elvis Ekman got the Tigers in a team random. You want Panini to come out with some new product for baseball or football? Like, what do you mean? Like, you don't want to see, like, Chronicles anymore? There's Bryce Harper. There's a number down there to 50. 
Nice Kristen Stewart, Spectra base card. Trevor Story, season ticket. And nice Keston Hira. That goes to Dan Gardner and the Brew Crew in that Contenders football format. They should do, do they, they don't do Contenders baseball. I would love to see them do Contenders baseball. And there's Pete Alonzo. Uh, usually, I think in football, that's out of five, right? But there's no number here. It'll still shit. It's still nice. All right, that was box one. You know what? I mean, let me grab a monster box so I can put all these cards into the proper place. Space. All this, this 3,000 square foot store. I feel like I'm still running out of space. Brent, what's going on? Brent Culper in the house. Save these over here. All right, next box. Oh, this? I scoot it out and then I just oh. it Helps. That's, a, that's kind of a, that's a pro tip. All right, maybe I'll have to reconfigure how I do my setup. So, yeah, that's a good that's a good call. All right, folks. Hopefully, no one's been tailing me in my baseball bets this week because they've been pretty awful. Pirates was on them. Marlins on them. Nope. The Cardinals end up winning. I know that game was delayed. No, nope, they finished it. They lost, and the Cubbies beat the Giants. My financial interest in the Giants. Not doing well, folks. But I'm hoping that me not doing well in baseball means I'll do well in football this year. All right. <laughs> Cracks me up for some reason. I, w I, w I would build a set of that. There's Miguel Andujar. That's to 49 right here. Can't tell which ones are numbered and which ones aren't. We'll just figure it out. We'll save like the Pete Alonzos and the Vlad Guerreros and whatnot. Wow. Definitely save this one. Jersey and on card autograph, Vlad Guerrero Jr. 60 out of 99, America's pastime. Jersey and autograph for Richard Z. And the Blue Jays. He got the Blue Jays straight up. Nice. See, I like all the different designs they use. And there's Bryce Wilson, Spectra, rookie jersey autographs, right on the card. Bill and the Braves. Like, they should definitely make a Spectra baseball. Do it. Do it, Panini. You know you want to. Out of one now, you're testing it out. We like it. I like it. It's Chris Paddock to Crusade 25. We got Jeff McNeil, absolute triple relic, three out of 99 for the Mets, Richard Z with the Metropolitans. That's numbered right there, that's 99, that's Yachty. The Ascension Pete Alonzo. I remember that some of the, some of the top rookies like last year so that's why we're saving these Pete Alonzos. I know that when, when this came out when Otani was a rookie, 
And I know we did Chronicles Basketball, and I know all the different Luka Doncic's and all the different ones. Like, you can, you'll get a bunch of those, and you can kind of grind those out, like, five bucks at a time or something like that, a few bucks at a time. But, like, they carry some value, more so than, you know, other base cards you see in sets. JT Real Muto, and that prestige design, going to the Phillies. Elvis Ekman got the fightings in a team random. Chris Bryant, 299. Prison, or that's Phoenix. Cody Bellinger and Michael Chavis. All right, next box. Got some final scores for you, maybe? Probably. Wait, did the Astros lose? Wait, hold on. Who was saying Don? Are you still here? Was it Don Rab? I meant to respond to that. I had that in my I had that in my head. Yes, it was Don who was saying this about 20, 30 minutes ago. He was like, big sports book saying it's historic it's a historic update upset with the Tigers beating the Astros tonight. Yeah, I think the Tigers were like minus three fifty or something like that, at least for my offshore. They lost, right, DJ? Yeah. I think they were minus one, and I may some books may have had them at minus four hundred, like massive favorites. Which, on the flip side, that means the Tigers must have been like plus four hundred or something like that. If the Astros were like minus three fifty or minus three seventy five, that's wild. What was the? I'm looking at the baseball right now. What was the final score? Now that we're in a baseball break, that like clicked. I was like, wait a second, Don had something to say. Wow, beat him by a run. Man, even if you had even if you had the Tigers plus one and a half runs, that would have been a great Wow. That's why that's why baseball's so wild. That's why it's it's definitely unlike football and basketball, it's such a money line sport. It was Nolan Arenado to 49. And, ooh, I thought it was going to be another one. No, but it's a nice crusade parallel. There's Andrew Stevenson, Boys of Summer autograph, 93 out of 99 for the Nationals. That's going to go to Michael Cohen. Yeah, historic loss for Houston. I think Verlander started, right? But Derek Norris, I think, was the other guy for Detroit. I don't think he's... He's no slouch. Wow, and Verlander went a complete game. Nine innings, 11 strikeouts, two earned runs. Wow. And that was it. It was just two solo shots. One in the top of the fifth, one in the top of the ninth. Done. That's it. That's crazy. Tatis Jr. to 99. Redemption. Jimenez. Anyone have any guesses on that redemption for bragging rights? Here's Garrett Cole. Panini Prime Relic for the Astros. Speaking of the Strohs, Aaron Monzone. Javier Baez. Sorry, Titan. We have a little rubbery pad right here when I have... Amari Cooper hands. I guess Raiders Amari Cooper hands. He seems to catch everything for the Cowboys. Oh, let's save that Obsidian Pete Alonzo as well. So not numbered, but every every little bit is pretty cool. And there is Eric Haas. For the Indians, Travis Melberg, you're on the board. There's Bryce Harper to 75. And the redemption is 
Nick Senzel, nice. Contenders season ticket autograph. I need to make... Contenders baseball would be pretty cool. Wouldn't Contenders baseball be pretty cool? It would be kind of like a EA with the Reds. I, I kind of imagine it as like Panini's answer to like Bowman draft or something like that. If they focus a little bit on prospect and stuff. Nice one, EA. And the next box, we're about a quarter of the way through already. So yeah, we're, we're about at the 15 minute mark, so yeah, it looks like it's, this is about an hour long break. Oh, they do have contenders? Oh, but it's collegiate? Hmm, not into that. I want it to be pro teams. <laughs> Joe, I feel like each year EJC is saying for the three big sports, they should always throw out some new product, like a completely brand new product, not like the same old national treasures and dynasty and that sort of stuff. I think they do. Every year I feel like there's something like a new release, right? Like a completely brand new line of product. That's the 49. There's Brandon Lau. Aaron Judge, Triple Relic. Tatis Jr. Well, here's, here's the thing, EJC, is that there is a cap on how many they can release a year. So if something is new, something has to go. Dean Dietz for the Astros, that goes to Aaron Monzone. Because there's only like X amount of product. It might change slightly every year, but I think there's only X amount of products um, Tots and Panini can release every year. Rowdy Tellez, look at that. That's a fat Cornerstones quad relic and auto. 25 out of 25. Might be going to a 180. Blue Jays, Richard Z. Rowdy Rowdy Tellez, nice. Yeah, that's a 180 top loader. That's pretty cool. That's an 8 out of 10 Cal Quantrill. Tiago Vieira for the Cubbies. That's going to go to Chris Parent and the Cub. He's Tiago Vieira is a Cub, right? No, he's a White Sox. That's right. Didn't look right. Sorry, not Cubs, Chris Parent, but White Sox, Chris, also Chris Parent. Wouldn't have mattered anyway, but got to do that check. Next box. I don't know if it's a rights issue per se, but I think it's just an agreement that that um, the manufacturers have with the league and the players' association. Otherwise, I mean, you can't you can't release like eighty pro like a hundred football products a year and have all these athletes sign like cards for a hundred football products. They'd be like, no way, <laughs> we're not going to do that. So there, there are agreements that are in place. I don't know. I don't know what the number is, but yeah, classics football did go away. I think what what replaced that? I think that turned into majestic, right?
I think classics and one other thing disappeared, and then it, and then it turned into majestic. What's that other one? I think Luminance is another one. That Luminance is new, right? That came out last year. That debuted last year, I think. All right, see you guys. Or was it Legacy Football? Oh, maybe yeah, Legacy. That's right. That's what it turned into. Legacy. Nice Reese Hoskins to 75. And we've got Wander Franco. Wow. Prospect jersey autographs, neon blue, and it's on card. That goes to Daniel Patera and the Rays. Nineteen out of ninety-nine. Big prospect for the Rays. Big prospect in all of baseball, according to most of the scouts. And we've got Corbin Martin for the Astros. Aaron Monzone. Jose Ramirez, 3 out of 10. Nice one for the Indians. Some good color in that little window up there. And a piece of Jose Ramirez's lumber for Melberg and the Tribe. And he's been he's been on track too. He's been hitting well. Should they make limited baseball? I think that would be pretty sick. We got Nick Cufo, also for Tampa Bay. Another one for Daniel Patera. And 50 out of 50 for that Clayton Kershaw. It's haircut Clayton, Clayton Kershaw right there. It must be a picture from the beginning of the season. Extra room here. Alright, next box. Gilo saying, I haven't bought too much Panini baseball lately except for Donnerson Optic. You know, it's the no logo thing I'm trying to get to you. Yeah, it's a. It, the no, the no logo thing I've gotten used to, but maybe that's because, I uh, you know, we we are lucky enough to rip so much of this Panini baseball. I think what the the advantage that Panini has here is that since they don't have the licenses, is that they can include more bigger name autographs because they're they're, they're saving money on that license. So that affords them to load it up with some of the bigger name rookies. So for for people who are maybe trying to PC a player that's harder to get in tops, might be a little bit easier to get in Panini stuff. There's Forrest Whitley. Wow, Astros with a lot of autographs early on, Aaron. Nice. That's their big pitching prospect. They've got a loaded farm system. Redemption. Benintendi to 50. That's kind of tricky because a lot of times the greens are out of five. Cole 
Labor Day. Absolute triple relic for the Yankees. Jared Pletcher with that. Jay. Kevin Biggio. Craig's kid. Vlad Guerrero Jr. Neon Green to 49. 25 out of 49. And Tanner Rainey, Nationals rookie, absolute rookie autograph. Redemption is another Nick Senzel contender season ticket autograph for EA. Big prospect for the Reds. Well, he's up now. He's called up. He's playing, I think, every day. Ish. All right, next box. See what happened in the world of baseball here. Only two games in progress. Oakland is up 6-3 in Oakland on the Yankees. And the Dodgers are holding on to a narrow 1-0 lead on the Blue Jays. Blue Jays are in LA. Reds beat the Padres 4-2. Tampa Bay beat Seattle 7-6. White Sox shut out the Twins 4-0. Colorado beat the Diamondbacks 7-2 going on here, Gilo? Orioles, I think for the second night in a row, beat the Kansas City Royals 8-1. Nationals whale on the Pirates 11-1. I think, I think for the third night in a row, the Rangers have walked it off against the Angels 8-7. We'll get to some of the other games. Next box. All right, there's Trout to 50. Kyle Wright to 99. Jake Bowers, autograph. 10 out of 99 for Travis Melberg and the Indians. Last spot, Mojo. No Royals in a smaller park. I think that's right. Another redemption, another Senzel for, for EA maybe. Michael Kopech for Chris Parent. A little pinstripe in there. To 99. It's Kershaw to 99. Garrett Hampson. Peace. Herman Marquez prestige autograph for the Rockies. That goes to Ryan Redman. And the redemption is Nick sends up. Oh my God. But it's American pastime material. Sign your cards, Nick. Come on. That's just ridiculous. Did he just skip this entire product? Busy playing baseball, I guess. Well, there you go, EA. He's a good player. EJC, before breaking, did you invest in cards, Joe? No, I did not. But, you know, obviously, I always had kept an eye on 
you know, I kept an eye on the hobby. I always like baseball cards. Bought them a lot when, just like everybody else. Got them, had a lot of them when we were kids. Kind of forgot about them, then got, kind of got back into them. Nick Jaspi's older brother and I, we almost started in the very early, early, early stages of, of people doing these group breaks. Back when it was all on eBay and... And uh, in fact, it was a, it was a time when there wouldn't even be a live stream. So there was a lot of trust involved. You would have to sell the case on like eBay or something like that, and then you you would say you would record it on like I don't know how you would even record it, but you record it and then upload the video to YouTube, basically, and then people would watch it and then they'd get the cards. Right, so we we tried to do that years before we Jaspies was even thought about. We tried doing that a couple of times because we had a couple other buddies that were that were still kind of into the hobby, and we were obviously still interested in it. But it was a lot of work. Ryan O'Hearn, big rookie jerseys, autographs, nice. Royals, that's going to be for the X line. 36 out of 99. So that didn't work out. And then many years flashed by before um, I think Bossman kind of semi-retired from Tops and moved out west because like Nick's sister was going to college in California. Nick's older brother lives in California. A lot of Mrs. Bossman. Look at that super fractor right there. Mrs. Bossman has, has a lot of family out here too. So they re relocated out here. Kind of wanted to do the side thing. Jaspies is born. Dodgers, Elvis Ekman, and the one of one. Wow, Vlad Guerrero Jr. One of one. That is awesome. Richard Zitterman. That's a beaut. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. I'm not sure what Titan is, but it looks cool. <laughs> Titan baseball. This, I wonder if this is like a retail product. Another Vlad Guerrero Jr. This time, a dual relic. Two-color dual relic. For Richard Z and the Blue Jays. There's Bellinger, Belly. Another Tatis Jr. We're saving all of those Tatis Juniors for you, EA. You're going to get a stack of those. Abital Avalino. Absolute rookie autograph for... San Francisco, a little oppo Joe Mojo for Big Boys 007. There's Judge to 199, Tatis Jr., and Paddock to 99. Yeah, Bossman worked at Tops for a long time. Some of you may remember this. Um, he kind of started and ran for most of his time at Tops. What's called a, I think it's still around, Topps Vault. So Topps had like a huge warehouse of just archived material, right? Some old like, old wacky pack, full like full sheets from where they used to cut those sheets. They full sheets of like these wacky pack cards that go, would go for a ton, original artwork from those artists, some old baseball stuff, some other old memorabilia that they would clear on, I think they went through eBay actually, they would, that they would clear through eBay. And he kind of started that whole thing from the ground up. And he, he, he was in uh, upstate -ish New York, I think. In a little warehouse out there where they, would, where they would do all that sort of stuff. So yeah, these are 
10, 15 years. He's had hobby shops in multiple eras. He's built hobby shops in multiple eras. He's owned, uh, he worked at, he was at Beckett for a long time too as a price guide editor for, I think probably for even longer than he was at Tops. And he's just, he's been in the industry since childhood. His dad, I think, from what I remember, was an early creator of the uh, of what is now I think Beckett, like early one of the earliest hobby magazines. His dad was Bossman's dad was a uh, journalist writer. Luis Urias going to EA and the Padres. So I think I think Bossman has probably been been to the been to almost every national, except for a few. Pete Alonso, Spectra, 75. So it's pretty well known in the, uh, at least for the, pretty well known amongst, you know, amongst like some of the major companies, hobby wise. Josh Naylor for San Diego, that goes to the Padres. Seventy-five. Paul Goldschmidt. Buster Posey. Ooh, look at that, Aaron Judge. That's just a base card, but look at that. Well, number to third, number to ten. Three out of ten. That's a fat one. Yankees. Jared, Fernando Tatis Jr. autograph, 60 out of 99. That goes to EA and the Padres. Bryce Wilson for Bill and the Braves, jersey and autograph. In that Spectra design. Kopech <laughs> to 199. And next box. All right, next one. Gilo, so you ran into the guy who used to make sketch cards for top Star Wars while playing Pokemon Go. That's pretty cool. There was, there was, there was a Star Wars sketch card guy that discovered us on the chat. I forgot what his name was, but... I think he promised us some sketch cards that we never got. I gotta, I gotta reach out to that guy. He, he, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming he got very busy. He was just doing it for free, so. But, um, talk to that guy. I forgot what sets he did, but. Bossman knows a lot of those sketch card guys. I remember uh, years ago, when, when the boss man still worked at Tops, there was a big uh, Star Wars convention, not the main one, but there was a different Star Wars convention that was out here in LA. And Tops had set up there. There's Luis Ortiz to 49. And there was like a sketch card guy at the Tops booth that was like sketching out cards for like kids and stuff. Jersey Nato, Tuki Toussaint to 99. That is for Bill and the Braves. And some points coming up. So we'll randomize that to one person in the break. Um, if there's more than one points card, that'll go, um, we'll uh, randomize the points as one lot. 
There's Yelich Relic, Chronicles Relic for the Brew Crew. That's for Dan Gardner. Herman Marquez, another autograph, another prestige auto for the Rockies, Ryan Redman, who got that in a team random. All right, almost there, folks. Looks like only a couple orders, so looks like this is going to be the last break of the night, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, and I don't see an NT Collegiate really moving, so yeah, let's just call it. Let's. This will be the last break of the night. This break should be done in about maybe a little bit past the top of the hour. At this point, I'm starting to run out of steam, so I'm slowing down. Dave sold a Star Wars sketch card from eBay to the guy who sketched it and autographed it. I sent him a message to him. And then he said he was buying it for his parents. It's kind of funny. What was the what was the character? The Star Wars. Character. We got Jake Cave. To 99. Goes to Steve Locke and the Twins. Pete Alonzo Titan. That's 299. Pete Alonzo Obsidian. That's not numbered. Pete Alonzo Certified. It's Kyle Tucker. Kevin Newman. That's not numbered. It was a Stormtrooper. And we got Framber Valdez, 42 out of 99. No, that doesn't ring. I'll have, we'll have to go through all the, the old emails, John. Is it Bill O'Reilly? Bill O'Reilly, maybe? I, I honestly don't remember. I keep, I keep telling myself I got to reach out to that guy and I keep forgetting. Pete Alonzo, oh, that was going to be an autograph, but Triple Relics, 99. Mets, that goes to Richard Z. Shomi Otani, Titan, not numbered. Tatis Jr., Paddock, his teammate, Justice Sheffield. Alonzo and Austin wins. Absolute rookie autographs to 99. That is for Christian Williams. And a Mikey Trout to 199. Did AJ Puck get called up? Next box. We are after this box. We're three quarters of the way through the break. Almost there. I better do an autograph recap for this one, huh? Probably. Hit recap. Oh, there were some other games going on. The other games are finals here. I think. Where did we leave off? Um, Philadelphia beat the Red Sox five to two in extra innings. Mets beat the uh, Indians four to three. Braves shut out the Marlins 5-0. I guess they called that game. That was delayed. Brewers. Wow, 
Wow, they called that game? That's interesting. The Brewers are at St. Louis, and that's a big NL Central battle. And they called it at after eight innings. And the Cardinals were at home and only down two runs. Hmm. Why would they do that? Couldn't do the game to finish the game tomorrow? I feel like that's a, such an important NL Central game. That just seems odd to me. Ooh, nice Carter Kibu autograph. 28 out of 49. Michael Cohen with the Nets. It's pretty cool. Gilo, a Royals guy, says, good. Hate the Cardinals. That just seems odd, though. I just, I just feel like, I feel like they're, they'd be like, let's play that, let's play that game out. Unless the Cardinals, for whatever reason, didn't have a choice. Fifty-three at ninety-nine. America's. Pat I'm sure they see each other in, in. They're in the same division. I'm sure they see each other in September, right? They can't make that game up at some point, or make up those last couple innings. There's Juan Soto to ninety-nine. Another one for the Nats. Eloy Jimenez, triple relic for the White Sox, Chris Parent. Yeah, EJC is like, cards just go for so much more money these days than I was collecting years ago. It's insane. It is. The appetite for the, for the hobby has, has grown exponentially. And as long as as long as the major sports keep keep producing, you know, great rookies, I think people are gonna it's gonna keep going. Uh, we got a plate, an autograph, Heath Fillmeyer for the Royals, one of one plate. That's for the X line. There you go, the X line. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. Oh, AJ Puck's in the game. Dust off your AJ Puck autograph, ladies and gentlemen. All right, good luck, everybody. Gilo saying the Royals have to finish that extra inning game with the Red Sox tomorrow from the other week. They're in the 10th inning. And AJ Puck is throwing gas. And he's like, they're they're saying he's, I mean he he's built like a good catch, A's. They double him up. Wow, great play. Um, AJ Puck, I think they call him the mini, like little big unit or something like that. Mini big unit. Where are the A's fans? Um. But he definitely he's like he looks like a he's built like a young Randy Johnson, big, tall, lanky lefty, a lot of hair flying behind him. Oh, I think my book canceled that, Chilo. There's a five out of five, Javi Baez, Cubbies, Chris Parent who got the Cubs in a team random. Mm. 
Nice. As Mago. Chris, all aboard the Big Head Express. Whoop whoop. Jordan Alvarez, nice. Wow, Cornerstone's quad relic and autograph, 31 out of 49. He's been raking for the Astros. That goes to Aaron Monzone. Got Corbin Martin, season ticket autograph for the Astros, back to back Strohs, Tatis Jr., 299. Dallas Keuchel, one out of five, Dallas Keuchel. Bill with the Braves, laundry tag. Oh, come on, Kenley Jansen. <clears throat> Bill, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. Yeah, I'm a Dodgers fan. I'm a little concerned, sir. And there's Richie Martin. I thought he was on the A's. Orioles edition going to Christian Williams. And Glaber Day to 199. Three boxes to go. We're almost there. Blue Jays Dodgers 1-1. One, one. This is definitely going into extras. I guess unless the Dodgers walk it off. They, they are pretty good at home, walking it off at home. They've only managed one run against the Orioles pitching tonight, so the Blue Jays are on point tonight. Yeah, Bueller went seven innings. Five hit, scattered five hits, zero earned runs, eight strikeouts. Got nice cornerstones, quad relic and autograph. Jeff McNeil, 39 out of 99 for the Mets. Richard Z with the Metropolitans. He might win the batting title. The yeah, NL no batting title. And his teammate might win Rookie of the Year, Pete Alonzo. And there's Dakota Hudson. He's pretty solid. That goes to the X line and the Cardinals. I don't think that's numbered. Not numbered. Glaber Day, 99. Ramon Laureano from Matt Bodner and the A's. Nice low number, 3 out of 10. I think Jordan's going to win AL Rookie of the Year. He might. There aren't very many good AL Rookie of the Year candidates. So Jordan, with like far fewer games, might win it. <laughs> Elvis saying that, get time. We'll take a Cody Bellinger autograph. I'd like to, I'd like to see a Cody Bellinger auto. 
Is he in the checklist? Is he in the set? There's Chad Sabotka, absolute rookie autograph. I think there was a Caleb Ferguson earlier, Elvis. There's Jordan Hicks. Good to see you, by the way. Yeah, the a AL the AL Rookie of the Year race is is a, li is a little not exciting, you know. Like someone like Jordan Alvarez might win, and he's he's played like thirty fewer games uh, than than like Vlad Guerrero and Eloy Jimenez and whatnot. No, no Albert Alzales. I haven't seen any of him. This Chronicles is underrated, folks. I know this is a bit of a longer break, but it's pretty underrated. So grab your teams, jazbeescasebreaks.com, and we'll knock out another one tomorrow. If you're a baseball fan, don't sleep on this. Oh, uh, King D, we pulled a Jordan Alvarez autograph, actually, in this break. Did you see it? There it is. Jake Bowers, another one for Travis Melberg and Last Spot and Mojo, and that's to 99. Oh, Mike Tower doesn't see any Bellinger autos in Chronicles. Sorry, Elvis. Another point, but now it's 500 points, winner take all, so that's not bad. 250 by itself, eh. 500. Can, well, people that buy 500 points. Guerrero. Well, there's Bellinger. But it's not going to be an autograph. Sorry. It's a hit, though. It's a relic for Elvis Ekman and the Dodgers. He got the Dodgers in a team random. And the Caleb Ferguson earlier, too. It's been kind of bad. He would have, he would have been very helpful for the Dodgers bullpen, but he's been battling some injuries. Kristen Stewart. Chance Adams. There must be like Verdugo autograph or something like that. No, I don't. Have, I don't think I've even seen a base card of Verdugo, but got to be someone. For the Miami Marlins, Sam with the Marlins got the Marlins in a team random. Oh yeah, you saw our, you saw our new hire. Leo is his name. If you guys want to see a picture of our new hire, at Jaspie's Breaks on Twitter. I think Leo would be a good addition. Yes, Rex, your Cubs screwed me yet again. When I'm on the Cubs, they lose. I'm against the Cubs, they win. But it was crazy though. How many lead changes were there? I was I saw highlights on MLB Network. Last box. Alonzo, dual relic, Metropolitans. 
Juan Soto. Limited Fernando Tatis. That looks pretty sharp. Vlad Guerrero Jr. And a Mitch Keller for the Pirates, Eric Leal. The highly tied of Pirates prospect. And a couple of Pete Alonzo's right here. How tall is your new hire, Leo? He's a little short, but you don't have to you don't have to height shame him. We got Trevor Story to 49. Thank you, Mike Tower. Checklist Dodgers autos are Dennis Santana, Caleb Ferguson, Clayton Kershaw, Justin Turner, and Al Oliver. All right, I think we still have another auto left, so you never know. And it's, no. It's Jonathan Lewise gets for the Yankees, though. Jared Pletcher bought the Yankees straight up. 24 out of 99. Nice Cornerstones autograph. And I think there should be one more relic. There's John Duplantier to 25 for the Diamondbacks. And Jacob Nix. Oh, another rookie jersey autograph. Nice. So that'll go to the Padres. And that'll be for EA Sports. It's in the game. That's to 199 EA. Vlad Guerrero Jr. to 199, Kevin Biggio, Kyle Tucker, and Shohei Otani at the end. We made it, folks. Clocking in just over an hour, but I appreciate everybody who kind of hang, hung, hung out, hang, hanged out with me in the chat. Let's randomize those points to someone in the break. No other randomizers to do, which is nice. All right, so everybody has a shot. So from Nick... Everybody has a shot. There we go. So from Nick K down to Michael Cohen in 16 box picker team number one. Name on top gets both points cards. Winner take all on the points. After low number, low number, low number. Did Ram dot or already go home? Oh, nice. Three and a two, five times it's late. We can't have like 12 on the dice roll. Three and a two, five times one, two, three. Four and fifth and final time after five times. Congrats to the X line. 500 points going your way. 250 and 250. Thanks everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time. We'll see you tomorrow. 2 o'clock Pacific, 5 o'clock Eastern. We'll be doing some more breaks. Bye-bye.